Okay, so made it out here to Pearsaw. This is a quite a long drive from San Antonio, about an hour's an hour and change. There's a garage. Here is part of the property. You're surrounded by different different things. Um, there's a railroad track right there. I don't know how. Some railroad tracks don't allow for blowing their horns through residential areas. Mobile home park right there. Another mobile home park. Lots of big, beautiful trees. Nice, nice home. Large home. Um, I don't think that... I mean, it's all up to you. I don't. I mean, as nice as this property is, I don't think the mobile home park would bother me so much. A house made out of stucco. It's got a lot of old, old charm to it. It's an asphalt driveway. Got two central units, it's a big home. So, so yeah. Mud room here, slash laundry room. The kitchen. What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a Maytag refrigerator. Um, nice updated kitchen. It's got old cabinet doors, but Got like a, a natural stone. I'm not sure if this is granite or not. It looks like it is just unpolished granite. Everything's black Maytag. Um, your microwave, refrigerator, dishwasher. The stove is gas. It's Maytag as well, but it's stainless steel. Butcher Block Island. Needs to have another coat put on it. Ceramic tile flooring. Looks like wood. Um, wood burning fireplace. I mean, definitely has the vibe of a, an amazing older home. Closet. A couple of closets. A little, a little accordion closet, a walk in closet, and a commode and a shower. Nice updated um, sink. And the, so this is a master, and it's got a door going straight outside. If you want to. Did you check out the master over there?
hardwood floors that are painted gray. Some floor tiles missing here. These are vinyl floors. There's some, there's a box right there. There's your washer and dryer hookup. So you wouldn't have to take your laundry downstairs. It's a large house, it's like a labyrinth. You've got a nice carrier unit, looks fairly new. High ceilings, accordion style closet. Well, this one's bigger than normal. It's got some sort of a, another closet within the closet. There's another bathroom. Yeah, I would have thought this was the master. You would have thought this is the master? It could be. This is, some homes have two masters, so this could be the upstairs master. It's got like an ensuite. So there's your fireplace. Um, it's been covered up. Could be because they didn't use it, or it could be that there's a problem with it. An inspector would have to tell you that. <clears throat> Given the age of this home, it looks pretty good. I do think there is some settlement on the flooring. Standard accordion. Uh, floor doors They did put in those newer uh, Barn style doors in this bathroom Here's another full bath So if you have a uh, a desire to stay downstairs, you can. You do have breakers, you don't have the old fuses. Okay, that I think I've already recorded this room. We'll go downstairs and record more of the outside for you. Here's the front view. Again, a lot of nice yard. I don't see any major signs of broken stucco where the house has really shifted much. I mean, <clears throat> um, I mean, it's just it might be from that era where they really overbuilt things, built things really well. Stuart is trying to see if we can get into that back little garage. I don't know if we will or not. Because they didn't leave us a key for that. Unless the key for the front fits it.
I think this house is going to come back with a, a, a lot of like repairs because of just the age. And it's not to say it's a bad house. It's just that inspectors are required to tell you how many things are out of code. And given the age, a lot of it's going to be out of code. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad house.